Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jordan Anderson, and welcome to the audio podcast. I've converted my vlogs into sound for your convenience and your enjoyment. Hey, Tony, what's up? Hey, how's it going, Jordan? What's up, dude? Uh, thanks for coming on the podcast, man. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm actually down in Mississippi today. Oh, word. So let's yeah. uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, let's walk through the steps of becoming a steady cam operator. Take it from the perspective of someone who has no gear and no experience, and they want to become a steady cam operator. What does that take? Well, um, I think it's just like anything in this business. It's like everyone kind of has to find their own path. Um, so I mean, I guess I can just tell you about mine. Uh, I worked sort of as like a low level grip and camera operator, uh, in the beginning of my freelance career and, uh, just always had a dream to be a steady cam operator. And, um, honestly, I saved up some money and I bought an old master series rig and, uh, just took a plunge, you know, knowing that it, it may or may not fail. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, it, I, I think almost half the battle is even just acquiring the gear and saving up and, and making that initial investment. Did you ever do, uh, say, like a formal Steadicam uh, certification, or you just started just going right into it? I did not. Um, and I, I know they're fantastic classes, um, and honestly, I still want to. I've been doing Steadicam for five years. Um, but it's not, it's just, it's one of those things where I think, I think you have to have some natural ability um, to be able to do it. Um, yeah, it's not like you need, you need a certification. It's not like being a nurse or something where you have to go to mm-hmm. school and be an RN. You know? So like what I, what I tell people is, it's like, I, I have so much respect for the craft. Um, and I love Steadicam so much. It's like, I, when I got my Steadicam, it's like, I was almost afraid to even call myself a city cam operator. It took me like a year before I really started pitching myself to city cam ops. And really what I tell people is, um, you know, I, I think it took me about two and a half years before I, I felt like I was decent to good, you know, and, and felt comfortable pitching full rates and, and, uh, working, working for my clients. So once you've got the gear and once you've <laughs> been a little trained or say you, you did take a certification class, what what then? Like, how do you start marketing yourself? How do you start putting out the word that this is the service that you offer and you're the best at it? For me, Nashville. I work out in Nashville. I'm based out of there. Uh, I call it I call it a small a small market. It's definitely not Los Angeles. It's not New York. Um, it's not one of those big places. But at the same time, it's not a tiny town with very little production. For me, I think I got uh, most of my work already having my name out there as, you know, that camera operator great type guy, you know, when I was a little younger. So I sort of had a client base. Um, I guess the short story is it's all network. So if I were a city camp operator just starting out, um, I mean, it's like, you know, taking, you know, working on those little few films or your friend's projects and, uh, and just building your craft skills um, until you are comfortable calling yourself a cinema operator and, and putting your name on it. It's, it seems like it's, it's whether a cinematographer or a filmmaker or producer or steady cam uh-huh. op, you just, you just have to, you know, you have to commit to it 100% and then just believe in yourself and, and just keep putting put yeah. yourself out there. Yeah, man. It's, um, I, even, you know, when I did it, it's like I saved up all the money to sort of just have everything I needed just to start working. And um, I told myself I was going to give it a year, two years, um, and it might not work. So it's sort of like I took the pressure off myself from the beginning. I didn't want to go into it knowing I had like a six or $700, you know, a month payment, you know, paying on this Mm -hmm. brand new rig. And I didn't want that pressure on myself to go out there and, uh, and take any job and, you know, you know, work my butt off for, you know, I don't know. I, that, 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 that pressure sucks, man. Um, I think that answered the question perfectly. So, Tony, where can we find your work? Where can we find your Steadicam services online? I would say um, 
my Instagram is almost like my website. It's uh, my name with my middle initial. It's just Tony dot j dot reyes t o n y dot j dot r e y e s um nice. yeah based out of nashville man i mean you can find my contact info on my instagram and uh hit me up hey what's up guys thanks so much for listening and be sure to subscribe so you can catch the next episode when it comes out and if you haven't already head over to youtube and check these vlogs out for yourself thanks